This is The Close-Up, conversations about creativity. I've never entered an industry, I have to say. I've, as you mentioned, I've worked in a lot of cool jobs, but I've never been more excited than when I started John um, because of the promise that this industry and this, um, this new creative medium, and it really is a new medium, allows. It's going to be amazing. John has the John One camera, mm -hmm. and you're building a studio in Los Angeles yep. in order to create content. Why both? Um, well, John started a couple years ago um, as a tech company, creating cameras. Um, you know, a, one of the very first purpose-built VR cameras uh, in the industry, as well as a set of what we call computational photography algorithms to take all of those cameras and stitch them together into this full 360 degrees 3D sphere that you can look around. Um, and of course, then the industry really started taking off, and we started creating content. And you know, they were working with production companies and you know various other uh, entities in Hollywood. Um, and very quickly realized, of course, that content is king. When you talk to someone and before you hire them, what kind of people, what are you looking for? What takes, what does it take to succeed in doing the work in the field that you're working in right now in VR? Right. Um, well, obviously it's filmmaking skills, right? And also what makes a good narrative? What makes a good story? Those are universal. Those are always going to be important. Um, uh, Obviously, you know, if you're going to be shooting virtual reality, a good sense of how, you know, a camera operator or something like that can fairly easily learn um, virtual reality cameras. In fact, in some ways it's a lot easier because there's not a lot to touch um, because there are so many cameras and a lot of it's done in post-processing. Um, the visual effects industry, uh, all of those, you know, lighters, compositors, and uh, rotamation and all of that stuff, animation, and all the same techniques that we've used on all those movies that you mentioned that I worked on, um, are the same techniques um, for virtual reality. It's just learning to work in a spherical 360 3D environment. Uh, you're associated with the term language of cinema, cinematic VR. What, what is that? Well, we don't know. That's the <laughs> we are evolving that as we speak, right? There's the cinematic language, which is what I was you know, referring to earlier in terms of um, you know, over-the-shoulder shots, close-ups, coverage, clean shots, all of these things, this terminology, you know, that we could talk to any of the film crew here and they would know immediately what I'm talking about. Cinematic VR, because everything is so different and you don't know how to, you know, necessarily block a scene or how do you get the viewer's attention. You know, you can use motion, light, and sound to direct the viewer where you want them to look. Here are the directors that you have worked around. Martin Scorsese for The Aviator, Lord of the Rings, Peter Jackson, Titanic, James Cameron, Men in Black, Barry Sonnenfeld. What do all these guys have in common when you're around great directors that you stand back and say, let me tell you something about a great director. They are what? Um, they make clear choices. It's just like a great actor. They make very clear choices, um, and they know what they want. The best directors I've ever worked with know exactly what they're going to get when they go in and shoot on stage um, that day. And whether they have the shot list in their head or they have it written down, it's all boarded out. They know exactly what they're going to, or at least what they're going for. So you don't spend a lot of time going, well, I don't know, and you, you know, all this money and all this time spent on not knowing what you want on the day you show up. The best ones have a clear vision, um, and they know exactly what they want when they step onto that. So. Uh, name two movies you're looking forward to seeing this fall in 3D. Um, the Martian and The Walk. Great. And uh, name, recommend for someone watching who wants to see some VR that's easy and accessible. What's out there that someone could look at that you'd say, this is pretty cool? Um, well, actually, speaking of The Walk, that um, was an amazing piece that I just saw. It's a tie into the film. Uh, the Joseph Gordon Lewis. Exactly, who is walking across the Twin Towers based on the documentary Man on Wire. Um, and it, you, it literally puts you up on the corner of the Twin Towers, um, and they put a rope under your feet, so you feel a rope under your feet. You put the VR goggles on, and you have to s take a step out onto that wire in virtual reality, and it is terrifying. It is the most terrifying thing, one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen, much less in VR. Um, and of course, we have a bunch of cool content in our app. Um, you mentioned Paul McCartney, we have that. Um, we have experience uh, called The Hobbit that takes you to the Shire. Um, so there's all kinds of, you know, really cool and, content. And right. how do people access that? Um, it's the Jaunt app, it's on iOS and Android and also on Oculus Share. Great. The Close Up is produced by the Advanced Imaging Society in Hollywood and powered by Barco.